Hey guys, and welcome to another video. It's Lily Looms here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. I call it the Katie bracelet after one of my cats, since I have two cats. This one side and the is reversible, so this side is like triangles and borders. So for this bracelet, you're just going to need a hook. I'm just using the Rain Bloom brand double-ended hook, and it's bent. I don't know why, but I just bent it. So the colors I'm using today are mixed gemstone bands for the polka dot bands in the center, and those are rain balloon brand, just letting you know. And I'm using um, the satin bands, the satin black for what's the white on here, and I used... Um, two base colors in this, and I'm actually using three base colors in this one just so it's a little bit easier to see. I'm also using limited edition peach. I think they call it coral pink, but... And I'm also using their satin lap lapis. I don't know how to say it, but they're satin teal. So, and here's my C-clip. It's in the red one. So you're going to start off with um, the color that you want to replace. Anyways, you're going to take the color that you want to replace this, um, the black that I'm using, and you're going to cap it on your hook in a figure eight shape, like that. So you basically create a normal cap band. And... You're gonna take a, you're gonna take another black, pull the other black onto it, both loops, and place the other end back on so it should look like that. Now you're gonna pick out two of your um, black, and you're gonna take one, one of those blacks. You're going to place it on your hook, pull it through just the first loop of your black, not the second, just the first. And untwist if it's a little bit twisted. So it should look like that. And <clears throat> you're going to take your other black, pull it through just the first loop of the three that's on your hook, and put the other end back on, not picking <clears throat> anything up. So now you're going to flip it on your hook, and if you don't have a double-ended hook, you can just uh, pinch it and then flip it. But I'm using this double-ended hook because there's a, there's a lot of bands when you do the center row. So again, you're going to take two <clears throat> blacks and do the same thing. So take the black, pull it through the first loop on your hook just the first. Put the other end back on. Do the same exact thing with a another black band. Just pull it through the very first loop. The very first loop of the band that you added and put the other end back on like that. So it really should look like that on your hook. And now you're you're gonna take the first color of your inside, which I use eight bands for the inside. So I did like these colors going all the way up to black. I'm starting with this gemstone red. Yeah. And you're gonna take the first band off. So just pinch the first band off and hold on to it. Take the red band, place it, and you can like put this on your middle finger. I just find that easier for me. Pull it through the middle four bands so you're not pulling it through the other one. You're just pulling it through the middle four and you're not gonna pick anything up. Just put the other end back on and put the black back on so it should look like that. Now you're going to take, 
goodness, what is wrong with these fans? <laughs> Anyways, so you're just going to take the four that you need for the sides. And you're going to place a black on your hook. And instead of pulling it just through the first, you're going to pull it through the first two. So the first two bands on your hook, <clears throat> it should look like that. Now take your last band for that side, the uh, other black, just pull it through the first loop. So like that and flip your bracelet around. We'll flip the bands around on your hook, I guess, and take another black Put through the first two bands. One should be black and the other should be red or whatever color you're using. <clears throat> Take the black, put through the first black. Put the other end back on. Yeah. So it should look like that. And again, pinch the first band off and take the next color in your sequence, which is this green, I believe. It looks... It's either green or teal. I'm not so sure, but it looks more green. So you're just going to hold on to that band and the band that you pinched off. Take the... Oops. Okay, Um. let me just fix this real quick. Okay, so you're going to take the green, pull it through the center four bands, put the other end back on your hook, and put the black back on. So that's what it should look like so far. And now you're just going to basically do the same thing Looping a band onto the first two, then looping a band onto the first one, flipping it, and then doing the same thing on the other side until your bracelet is long enough to go around your wrist, and yeah. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, so I've made my bracelet long enough so that it'll go around my wrist and it is very stretchy So my wrist is very tiny for my age. So It goes around my wrist and To finish it off all you need to do is pull Two black bands through So you're just going to take one of those black bands pull it through all so you want to stop after you add um, the black bands after you add on your colors. So put through all eight of those bands. Put the other end onto your hook and pull the other black through these two and put the other end back on your hook. So it should look like that. Now you're going to take your C-clip and clip it. Okay, I cannot clip this thing on. And slide your hook out, and there you have the center row, which is basically the glow in the dark white and polka dot bands in this one. So, um, since you've got the center row done now, which like this, and it does wrap all the way around my wrist, so my wrists are very tiny, so, and it might look small, but the, um, so, actually, um, I need to go off camera and do something, because I realize that's actually, and I need to put in the middle, so, there. Okay, so I just made two slip knots and then now I'm going to put the end on. I just made the slip knots because I realized that I actually had 10 here. Just uh, an honest mistake. Let's just call it that. So now I'm going to. Um, 
stick my hook through the capping band, the cap band on this one, so it's basically the black. I'm going to take a peach band, pull it through the black, and basically put the other end on your hook and make a slip knot. So like that. So you got that done and now you're going to take now I'm going to take a blue band teal and pull it through this one band on your hook. So that'll basically create this little effect that the blacks are looping over. So um now you're going to Put your hook through this band. So these two ends of this band that you started off with. So just put it in, stick your hook in there. Take a peach band, place it on your hook and pull it through just the first two. Like that. And now you're going to make a slip knot with that. Just the peach. Don't pull the two teals over. So make a slip knot like that. And limited edition bands um, normally don't knot very well, but in this bracelet they work. So now you're going to take a teal, pull it through the three bands on your hook, all three of them. If you have more, then you might need to redo this part, so. And now you're going to stick your hook through the next two. So these, right here. Take another peach band, pull it through, put the other end on your hook and make a slip knot with just that one. Take a teal, pull it through everything on your hook. So you can see that you have the design starting to form. Again, pushing your hook through the next two. Taking a peach, pulling it through. Placing the other end on your hook, making a slip knot with just the peach. Taking a teal, pulling it through all three, placing the other end on your hook. And it might not look like this design at all, like right here, but um, on the side, but once you turn it around, it looks like. It, it kind of looks like a zippy chain on the side. If any of you noticed that when I, um, in this bracelet. So again, pushing my hook through the next two, taking a peach, pulling it up, making a slip knot, and pulling a teal through everything. I think this is actually turning out really well with limited edition bands. I haven't tried it before, but yeah. It doesn't look all weird with the limited edition bands doing the knots, so yeah. And um, if you haven't noticed already, you're actually not going to put a band in here. So don't put a band on this one, just put it onto this one. So yeah. In this one, I kind of messed up and the cap band isn't visible. I want to, the cap band to be like a straightish line so that you can clip it easier. But anyways, you're just going to you're just going to do this until you have all of the um thing thingies completed. I don't know what to call them. I guess slip knots. 
zippy chains or whatever. So I like this color scheme, it's one of my favorites. So repeat this pattern. So you're just going to repeat this pattern of pushing your hook through the next two. Pull, hang on. Pulling a band through the um the pulling a pulling a peach through the first two, making a slip knot with only the peach, then pulling a teal band or blue band, I guess, through yeah. Through the um through all three bands on your hook and repeat that until you reach the end and I'll show you what to do at the end and I'll just go off camera to finish that up and the other side is technically the same exact thing. Okay, so I finished that side and this is basically what it should look like. And to finish it, yes, you are going to do a slip knot on the band that you hold it on. And now the finishing is super duper easy. You're just gonna take one of the clipped bands, place it on your hook, unclip that loop, pull through the two bands on your hook, and fold it back onto the clip. So now that you've got the whole side done, it should look like this. So you've got one of the sides, one of the two sides done. And now you're going to make the other side and, and again, you're starting from the capping band, the cap band, I guess, um, putting your hook through it, taking a peach band, Pulling it through. Oops, sorry, I don't want off camera. And making a slip knot. And skipping these two, going to these two, the next two, taking a peach, pulling it through, making a slip. Okay, so again, taking you need to take a blue band, pull it through this one. I'm sorry. And basically, you're doing what you did on the other side of the bracelet. So it's really easy to do, I think. Um, this is kind of based off of the shell chainmail bracelet by Claire's Wears. Um, so yeah, I just want to give credits to that. <laughs> so I am almost at the end. And we're going to do the same exact closure that we did on the other side. Um, closure as in like what we did to close it. I'm pulling the pink through. So I always said pink, not peach. I'm getting the fact that Frame Bloom just renamed their peach frost from back back from 2014. Or 2013, I'm not so sure, but sorry that I keep going off camera. <laughs> I'm not used to making videos, but it's not really anything I do very often. <laughs> 
I mean, yes, this yeah, wrong color. Okay, why do I always get carried away with my colors? I've got a lot of these colors left. See, I got so many blacks out when I realized I'm only going to be using it for the center shell chain now. So, the other thing is, I don't know if this is my own original design. It looks like a mix between, yeah, it looks like someone probably already invented it, but it actually looks pretty unique. Um, band compare um it the width is a little bit bigger when you use limited edition bands for this bracelet just wanted to let you know that just in case you're going for more of a thicker look um you want to use limited edition bands or double or <laughs> i'm tongue-tied today or double bands so yes for the thinnest results, use normal bands. I guess that's basically what you could say. So, and um, I might need to add a small extension to this because uh, I goofed. I, it was an honest mistake. I, I goofed, honestly. So now, again... untwist any bands that are twisted because a lot of bands do end up twisty and a lot of hook only designs and also some designs on the loom too I mean and again you're putting your hook through the clipped band the other side of the clipped band make sure that you're not putting your hook through like this because then you're just going to get a random blob of bands honestly <laughs> yeah i need to add a small extension to this because i i goofed in count again just letting you know this honest mistake but And you're going to do the closure that you did, sandwiching the band that doesn't have, well, basically putting your hook in, the band that doesn't have all these bands crammed onto it. Take it off the clip, pull it through the two bands on your hook, and do not snag anything because that is what I just did. Okay, I, I keep goofing in this tutorial, honestly. Maybe it's the reason why I'm also... Maybe the other reason is I'm using double-ended hook. I mean, this thing does not have a big groove, and I'm not being offensive to Rainbow by saying that. Okay, so I just need to add a small extension because I, I goofed. It was an honest mistake, but if you goof and you need to add an extension, just find the cap band. You can barely even see it, honestly. Put your hook through there. Grab like three or four bands. I'm just doing four through. Pull them through just like you're doing a normal hook extension. Sorry, I, I miscounted honestly. I guess I could have just changed the colors up and did random all of this silicone mixed metallics. Okay. So then you just clip these bands to the clip on the other side and there is your katie bracelet i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe like comment and 